Chris, how is your eyesight today? It's good. Okay. Very important. I want to make sure you didn't have a bramble, some kind of weird bramble or, or maybe a small bird in your eye, but you're good to go. Okay, fine. Look. Uh, just uh, I'm going to riffle. You say stop whenever you want. Stop. Okay, cut the cards right there. I got my marker here. I'm going to hand this to you. Would you take that? Take the cap off the marker when we cut two. Oh, this will work. Two clubs. Would you, uh, I want you to put your initial, any old mark on the corner of that too. I know you, you're juggling a lot. Thanks, man. Thanks very much. Just a little initial there. would be great. Okay, good. Now, the reason I asked if your eyesight was pretty good today is because I'm going to ask you to distinguish between something that's real and something that's an illusion. Watch. Here we go. Watch very carefully. I'm just putting a tiny tear in your card. Now, do you think that's real or fake? And if I make it a little bit bigger, would you say that real or fake? It's real. And now if I make it even bigger, you'd be convinced that's real, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now don't take your eye off the tear on your sign card. I'm going to do this very slowly here. Watch, 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 watch. You can see it right on top of the pack. Something very weird is going to happen right there on the tear. Watch. Don't take your eye off it. Watch. I'm just going to rub the edge of it. Just like this. And watch, this is the weird part. Look. It's not an illusion. A band-aid just appeared on your signed card. And even cooler, if you remove the card, underneath the band-aid we discover 104 bloody Easter eggs. No, we discover that your tear is healed. And that's because me, freaking magi, man, 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 man. I know, I know, this is the kind of trick that makes you mad inside. I know. I know, you don't want it to hurt your cards, right? You don't want to hurt your cards. But guys and gals, I'm here to tell you. With this magic and mentalism thing, you're going to get out of it what you put into it, okay? If you're really just going to say, I don't want to destroy cards, I don't want to do this, I want to do that, it's going to limit your growth, it's going to limit the show you do, it's going to limit all these things. Because each one of these tricks I share on YouTube, there's something to be learned from in uh, studying it and rehearsing it and then trying it out, okay? So keep that in mind. I mean, some of you are going to be interested in investing a bit in your education. Whether I mean, if you were taking piano lessons, there'd be a weekly lesson, or if you were, you know, there's wear and tear and stuff. So uh, consider that when you want to evolve as a performer with this stuff, okay? Having said all that, um, I'm going to get a card, card uh, with a lot of white on it, a two, a three, a four, a five, something like that, not a court card, okay? Then I'm going to get a, ba a good old Band-Aid, and uh, here, I'll do it down on the table here. I'm going to trim the sides, trim the sides of the Band-Aid, because I have psychic abilities and I know my next cut will not be very broad. No, I'm doing this to prepare for this. You guys hear me say a lot in the channel here that I love to be way, way ahead of the audience. And I'm, you know, there's a lot of virtues. First, it means that they can't backtrack. They're going to have a much harder time if they want to try to figure it out. Second, if you're ahead of the audience, you are going to, and this is huge, you're going to relax. And when you relax, that's when you can become the performer that you dream of. You're relaxed, you'll be playful, you'll be natural, all those things. So I've trimmed this a little bit because I have rather small digits, all right? Now, probably one of the most natural ways to hold a pack of cards is with your thumb there. So there it is. By trimming it, I make sure, and I cheat. Now, if someone's behind me, they could see a bit of this. You could see a bit of it. But from the front, I make sure it's nigh on impossible. And this is the way I'm going to hold the deck when I ask someone to initial the corner. So talk about being way, way ahead. So I start with the Band-Aid card on the bottom of the deck and the Band-Aid on my left side. It's on my left, facing my left, right into what little magicians call the crotch of the thumb. That's what they call it because they're shut-in psychopaths. You're here. I mean, there's no way anybody's going to see anything. Now, when I cut the pack, it keeps, I mean, again, there's nothing to see, but it keeps a natural break there. Nice big band-aid really helps. So when I cut the pack there and they say stop, all I have to do is make sure when I cut the cards, the band is at the bottom. So I want it to look like this, that basically I'm saying, say stop. I cut the cards and say, okay, we're going to use this card here, six of spades. That's the card we're going to use. 
That's what I want to look like and feel like. And I can perfectly replicate those actions by cutting the pack, riffle down, they call stop. I turn this forward. You don't turn it over side for side. I'm going to turn it forward and then cover it with my thumb and finish it up and square it up. Okay? So I've been able to replicate it, force the card, and have this wacky band-aid already waiting for them. Someone puts their initial on the card, okay? And they, they, they put their initial there. B, which of course we all know stands for Victor. So we're there. Sorry. Now, I'm going to come up and I want it to look like I take the card off and blow on it, okay? But here's, here's the action. I'm here, I come over here, and I'm going to actually, for a moment, while I'm showing it there, I'm going to, it's a double lift. I'm going to hold two cards as one, okay? I'm going to come over here. You can do a second deal. If, you're, if you have that kind of skill, you want to do a second deal, folds very nicely, come up here and just, and blow, okay? Or you can grab the two cards as one, like I said, a double lift sort of variation. Come up here and blow, and I shake. Now, I don't adjust, okay? I'm holding the deck there. I come over here, bring both hands in, and I do this small tear. And I'm going to do the tear approximately where the band-aid is, right? There, here, like this. Then I'm going to move this. This feels a little awkward, but you, if you try it once, you'll see it flows. I'm going to put this on top of the deck and here, okay? Everybody can see it very clearly. That's the top card. I come over here, and all I'm going to do, okay, is it's called a kick cut. I'm going to kick cut half the cards, two fingers and thumb, kick cut the cards here, okay? Then I'm going to come over here and, and you want to make sure you don't tilt this. If you tilt this, they're going to start to see a glimpse of the band-aid. So I keep the whole thing tilted away from them, okay? Tilted away. And then I'm going to rub like this. And as I rub like that, I'm going to get a little gap with my thumb between the band-aid card and the bottom of the deck. So when I rub like this, you get this gorgeous illusion of the torn card, suddenly a bandit appears right over the tear. People take a beat. There's almost always somebody who, and they sound silly, but when I do that, there's almost somebody who literally says, a bandaid. <laughs> Just like, a bandaid. Because at first it's not clear what it is. It's, it's the last thing you'd expect to see in a card trick is a bandaid. But then I just come up and I push it off. I push it off here because I don't want to flash the tear there. So I'm here. I push it off, and the moment people see the initial on the card, they're immediately reassured it is the same card, okay? I usually hand it to someone like that. If I'm performing for one or two or three people, then I'll let them remove the Band-Aid because they could all appreciate it at the same time. But if I'm performing at, let's say, a wedding table where there's 12 people or even bigger group, I'm at a corporate show and I'm in a boardroom and there's 18, 25 people, then in that situation, I show my hands undeniably empty, Slowly tear off the band-aid because what you want, like in a comedy club when you tell a joke, you don't want these people to get it, then those people, then these people. You want everybody to experience the, ma the magic moment, the click moment for the joke at the same time. So I'm here, tear this off, show this, and it's just a very pretty and a kind of funny, theatrical, torn and restored card. I feel like I understand the tricks better and it's almost as if I'm having a private lesson with him. <laughs>